Hi YouTube and welcome to my lab. Today we'll be making benzamide from the reaction between urea and benzoic acid, catalyzed by boric acid. This procedure is based on the procedure used by Tom's lab, which I've linked below in the description. I've decided to make my own video on the topic, since I hope to make use of the benzamide in future videos. In this video, I'll be using 150 grams of benzoic acid, 222 grams of urea, and 11.5 grams of boric acid. The benzoic acid has already been added into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask along with a stir bar. I proceed to add all of the other ingredients into the round bottom flask and give a shake to mix the contents. Benzoic acid and urea will melt at the reaction conditions, so good mixing is not essential. I then place the round bottom flask into a heating mantle as well as a Liebig condenser and connect it to a simple gas bubbler. I set up a gas trap with hydrochloric acid in order to neutralize any escaping ammonia fumes. The mixture is then heated at 180 degrees Celsius. After heating for 30 minutes, the mixture has liquefied. In this reaction, urea reacts with benzoic acid to form benzamide and also produces carbon dioxide and ammonia gas byproducts. This reaction works for both aromatic and aliphatic carboxylic acids to produce the desired amide. Boric acid acts as a catalyst, although strictly speaking, no catalyst is required to produce benzamide, and a fair yield of between 50 and 60% can be obtained from the uncatalyzed reaction. Magnesium salts have also been used as catalysts in slightly modified reaction conditions with great success. I stopped the reaction at 2 hours and 50 minutes, but in hindsight, this seems too early. The evolution of ammonia and CO2 was still apparent, meaning that the reaction was still ongoing. In future experiments, the duration of heating should be extended until there is minimal to no evolution of gas. Once cool enough to handle, but still liquid, the reaction mixture was poured into a 1 litre beaker and the round bottom flask was then washed out with 250 milliliters of a 5% ammonia solution. The solution was then warmed up to 90 degrees Celsius. Seemingly, everything dissolved into solution. The solution was then cooled and filtered. The solids were then dissolved once more in 250 milliliters of a 5% ammonia solution and hot filtered through a coffee filter. crystals of benzamide started forming in the collection beaker. The filtered solution was then cooled and filtered as before. Roughly 50 milliliters of distilled water was used to wash the filter cake. The benzamide was then dried on the hot plate at 100 degrees Celsius.
The final yield was 76 grams of benzamide, which corresponds to 51% of the theoretical yield, which isn't fantastic. Although not shown in the video, I repeated the reaction in the same method, but allowing the reaction to proceed for 3 hours and 30 minutes. By allowing for a longer reaction time, I managed to increase the yields to about 65%. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to see what I'll be using the benzamide for in a future video.